Hey everyone, this is Julia. Welcome to coffee time. Cheers. I wish this cup never ended. You know, had like a automatic refilling machine underneath. Anyway, today I wanted to share with you some things that I'm going to donate. Um, but before we do that, I want to share with you what lipstick I'm wearing, which is this uh, Shiseido lipstick, and it's such a pretty color. I found it in my mom's vanity. And the color is S10 or S10. So that's the shade I'm wearing. And I did put a little bit of pink, like bright pink lipstick underneath. And then I kind of like put this on top and then I blended it out a little bit <laughs> because I thought this color is a little too nude for me. Like I can't really tell that I'm wearing any lipstick. So that's that. And one other thing that I'm going to share with you is two earrings that I got from the thrift store yesterday and one is the one I'm wearing right now it's such a beautiful earring like I'm obsessed like ever since I got this I haven't stopped wearing it like it's just so pretty and it makes like a pretty sound whenever I shake my head Another earring that I got is this um, turquoise earring. And this looks like something you can get at like Arizona. And so, I mean, it's just beautiful. Like I love a good blue earring. And I have another pair of blue earrings that I cannot find right now. <laughs> but it's not like the turquoise or the blue part isn't as big as this and it's not it wasn't real turquoise so so yeah this is just beautiful it has like a little rose detail um, I don't know if you can see that but it's just so pretty yeah but this is this is my obsession for now all right what are some things that I'm donating I have a lot of kitchen stuff and random stuff that I've collected throughout the years. So the first thing that's sitting on my lap right now and is kind of heavy are these Pyrex pie dishes. And I have like bubble wrap. So I have two of these that I've had in my closet, in my garage for a long time. And um, I have there's going to be some technical difficulties with this. Okay, so yeah, this is the this is the second one of that uh, pie dish. And I have two of these, like the regular pie dish with the edges. So that's just what I'm going to be donating and I decided to donate those because I just don't bake enough pies and I go to a lot of thrift stores when I'm back in Illinois and um, the pie dishes that I really love are like the vintage ones the ones with like like an orange it's it's not clear it's not glass but it's made of um, I don't know what it's made of actually, but it has like recipes on the bottom of the pie dish and it's usually like a light brown color with like orange trimmings. Like I love the vintage pie dishes and I have a couple. Um, so I want to start collecting those instead of the Pyrex plates. So that's why I decided to donate that. Um, and it's really heavy. <laughs> to bring. Um, another kitchen item is this, it's a, a butter keeper and I've used this at my parents' house and my parents' house is cold in the kitchen. 
when I tried this out. And um, this was really nice because I could get butter and put it on like the top lid. Um, but when it's like really cold, um, the butter like fell down. Like I just didn't stuff it well enough, I think. And so, yeah, I decided to give this away, to give it back to the thrift store. Um, and it's just, I don't really eat a lot of butter anyway. Although I do love like butter on toast. Like sometimes I go through phases where I just want butter on toast with orange juice. And I'm not pregnant or anything. <laughs> so yeah, I have those kinds of cravings sometimes. Oh, cheers. Okay. Another thing I was going to donate, which is kind of related to earrings, but I now realize that it's broken, is this clip-on. It's a pretty clip on, but you know, I have a thing for blue items, but um, clip ons make my head hurt like immediately. And it's unfortunate that this broke. I threw it from my room, from my um, down the stairs, and I like just threw it downstairs in a bag. Like I didn't just have it out. But yeah, I think you can, this can be fixed, maybe. I don't know, but I'll try to fix that afterwards. But I'm going to be donating that because I made the mistake of buying a clip-on without trying on a clip-on. All right, another kitchen item, this blue bowl. I mean, it's really cute. Polka dot is my jam. I love a good polka dot anything. And so, I don't know, I decided to donate this because it just seems like a random bowl and I want to kind of get rid of things that I've just collected like one at a time. So yeah, it's unfortunate that I didn't get to use this. I was actually thinking of using this for like Easter or something like that and putting like candy. Um, this would be also good for like parties, you know, just a really cute like um, guacamole bowl or something. So yeah, that's, that's okay. I don't have any hard feelings about that. Okay, more kitchen stuff I'm getting rid of. Um, ramekins. So this, these are kind of like big ramekins. Usually they're kind of smaller, but they're by Cordon Blue. I don't remember where I got this from. Probably, I don't know. Maybe from a thrift store. Who knows? But I have two of these. Maybe my brother gave them to me. But um, I don't really use ramekins that often. Sometimes I'll use it for like to put onion and cilantro if I'm making tacos or if I'm like for any condiments, you know. But I already have a couple of bowls like this. Um, in Illinois so I don't need that um, another thing this OXO like brush the only reason why I'm doing this and it's OXO you know I love OXO OXO brand is such a good brand of kitchenware but the bristles sometimes come off and so sometimes I find like random strands of bristles in my butter and I have to like take it out. So I'm going to donate this and plus I have a silicone one that I have that I can use instead. Um, a non-kitchen item, it's this like, I don't know, it's a, a fur catcher I guess, fur catcher. <laughs> but yeah, I already have one of these so I'm going to donate it. Um, more things. I don't know what to do with this. My, it's a KitchenAid, is it KitchenAid or Cuisine Art? I think it's Cuisine Art. Like the handheld mixer is broken. So I have two of these that I don't know what to do with. So I think I'm just going to donate them. I don't know. And I honestly don't know what to do with my uh, Cuisine Art handheld mixer that's broken. Like do I contact the company and tell them it's broken? 
and try to fix it that way, you know? Um, another thing I'm donating, so random, but it's a hang o -matic. Like, it's a measuring tape. Hmm. Which I can actually, it can come in handy, but the weird thing is that, like, you can't really see the numbers. Like, like those ones, one starts here, but then there's this, like, other edge that you have to, like, account for. So, but it's also a, um, a level. So, yeah, I just don't really find this useful. I'd, I'd just rather have, like, a level by itself and a measuring tape by itself. There's a funny story. So... I went to, um, I was staying with my partner's um, house and we needed a, a stud finder. You know, those like V2, the, it lights up when there's a stud behind the wall. And my partner didn't have one and his parents live like 15 minutes away. So anytime you wanted to hang something up, you would have to, he would have to go to his parents' house, borrow a stud finder and come back and find whatever the stud hang up the picture or whatever and then bring it back to them and so it was just like 30 minutes of like going back and forth you know for a stud finder and that was like multiple times and so I decided to go to a hardware store I was like by myself which is weird to be in a hardware store as a woman I feel like um but anyway, I was there and I was like looking for a stud finder and the old man there helped me find one and I was like telling him that the same story. And so he's like, yeah, just buy this and it's going to help save you money. Just one, um, one round trip of gas, you know? So yeah, I bought him a stud finder and that was like, yeah, I just thought it was really funny that I bought him a tool, even though it was like a small thing. Anyway, um, another kitchen item is this Anchor Hawking bread bread container. Um, I have two of these, so yeah, I need to donate them. I don't need them. I do love making a good beer bread with honey butter. So good. Whenever um, I was in school and we had like a party there was a girl in my in my group who made beer bread with honey butter and so i'm always reminded of that whenever i think of bread i think that's like my favorite bread you know and um stella is a good beer to go with for the beer bread because it's just so delicious all right cheers to beer bread Mm. I didn't eat anything today, which I usually don't try to eat anything in the morning before I drink my coffee. Like I try to do a little bit of intermittent fasting in the morning um, when I can. So I think I'm just always hungry in these videos. <laughs> All right. Another kitchen item, which I feel like every household always has this sometime in their lives. It's a popsicle maker. <laughs> and um, yeah, there's actually a really good recipe by uh, Ramekin, I think. He's an Australian photographer and he's just amazing, amazing photographer. And he has this beautiful recipe <laughs> of like a plum popsicle with basil and jasmine. It's so good. It's basically plum. You cook it with plum, um, sugar, and you cut like basil leaves. And you instead of water, you put jasmine tea or any kind of tea you want. And it's delicious. So I made that one time and it's really good if you're looking for like a good popsicle recipe. Um, and the reason why I'm able to donate this is because I have one already um, back in... Illinois and I don't need it. So if I didn't have one, I will probably keep it because I like making my own popsicles for the summer. It's just fun, you know, and it's a fun thing to do with kids too. Like I especially want to do that when I have kids. All right, cheers. 
All right, let me see what other kitchen items I have. Ooh. One other kitchen item is this lonely plate. And right now it's like all star, um, it's all like wrapped up, but it's made of Grace's tea wear. And it's this beautiful pink polka dot. I mean, polka dots. I love polka dots, right? Like, it's just so cute. So cute. And, um, yeah, I bought this, like, one plate. And it doesn't have a pair or anything. So that's why I'm deciding to get rid of it. Even though this is, like, my ideal plate. <laughs> like, if all of my plates look like this, and all of my silverware and cups and everything look like this, I will be happy. And if there was a company that made this, like I would buy it. But um, yeah, I've looked at like Kate Spade because Kate Spade loves like polka dots. Um, but I haven't found anything like pink and that's like kind of like gold or rose gold. So I'm still on the hunt for a good like set of dishware although we have one already so it's all white so you can you can never go any wrong with anything white random kitchen not kitchen is it kitchen it's this water bottle every tennis player has this um, my brother and I used to play tennis so yeah this is what we have I don't know Maybe we should keep it because sometimes when my brother is in town and um, we play tennis together and yeah, we can use this. But I was thinking like we have our own water bottles that we use anyway, so we probably don't even need this. But this is really nice because you can put a lot of ice, a lot of water, and it doesn't leak or anything. And it's really easy to hold, you know. So going to donate that. Well, I'll think about it probably donate. I don't know why I'm so attached to things. I need to stop being so attached to things. <laughs> All right. Um, some random item. This candle. I know it's sad. I think I'm getting rid of like my half used candles just because my mom doesn't like candles. So I don't really want to bring like half used candles. And plus I already have a lot of candles in Illinois have a problem with candles. This is the Alpine Lake one and I got this at like TJ Maxx and I had a smaller one of this that I already threw away. I really like this because it crackles and I like the, I like the wood, um, lid. But yeah, the inside looks like that so I mean, that's partly why I'm donating it. And the smell is a little, like, I don't know. It's a little odd for me. Like, it's a little too piney, I think. I don't know. It's, like, piney. I don't love the scent anymore, so that's why I'm going to get rid of it. And give it to a good home, hopefully. Another random thing I'm getting rid of, and I've had this for a really long time, it's just like set of organizers. So you can actually like fold this and you can like unzip it in the back and you know, make it really tiny. Um, but this is for like socks and underwear and stuff. Um, and I have another that comes with like This is for other stuff I can organize. And it comes with a big one. Oh, I've used this for socks because I have a lot of socks. But um, I don't know, it takes up a lot of space. I've used this for bras. It's good for bras because you don't want to like fold them. So yeah, it comes in a set of like four. I got it from Amazon back when I used to have Amazon Prime. Like now I don't have Amazon Prime and I've saved so much money. Um, so yeah, I'm 
going to donate that. I have it for a long time. I'm actually putting it in a Frontera bag. And um, this bag is from the Chicago airport. If you're ever at the O'Hare airport, you have to get the Frontera grill, the pita sandwich, because it's so good. Um, so anytime I fly in and out of um, O'Hare, I make sure I go to Frontera Grill. All right, cheers. The pita sandwich is a, um, it's like a beef sandwich, which is, it's like braised beef. Um, and it like, kind of like, it's, um, like melts in your mouth and it's just so delicious. And their sauce is so good. They're like green sauce. Yum. I talk about food a lot, don't I? <laughs> um, okay. Well, life is about food, and food is, like, so important to me. Um, one other thing I'm getting rid of is this foul play and Cabernet puzzle thing that I never got to use. A mystery jigsaw puzzle. It has a thousand pieces, and the last time I did a thousand piece puzzle was for a, a Cinderella puzzle. Um, and I basically took over the coffee table for like a month. Like we couldn't use a coffee table cause I had like puzzle pieces everywhere. <laughs> so I basically need a dedicated area for puzzles because yeah, it just, you know, you're not going to finish a puzzle, a thousand piece puzzle in a day. <laughs> so unless you're like Mr. Monk, you know, he can do three puzzles, you know, all at once. Oh, random thing I'm getting rid of. Sunglasses. These are non-prescribed sunglasses and I'm deciding to get rid of them just because it's doesn't really work well. It's by guess and it looks nice. I mean, like, I like the color and stuff and I look um, cool with it, but yeah, it's just not, it doesn't cover the sun that much and I don't know whether it's polarized or not. So. Yeah, I'm just getting rid of it. And also like the bottom touches the under eye, like this part of my face. So there's always like a little mark whenever I wear that. Another thing, vase. Um, I know you can't see the shape of the vase, but it has a pink bow and it's just a regular vase. And it has like that kind of pattern. I might give that to a florist. There's a a place I try to go to to buy flowers and also to donate vases because they always need vases. Um, okay, another thing cooking related is this cookbook. It's Cook's Country 2011 cookbook. I love Cook's Country, but I'm donating this because I accidentally bought this without knowing which um, years I had. I already have another one of this, so I have to 2007. In 2011 but when I was at the um, thrift store I didn't know which one I had so I just bought this so I have two um, and these are the last things I'm going to donate these are binders so I already have I don't need binders <laughs> I feel like binders are kind of expensive right like I remember last time I went to Office Depot um, like one inch binder was like $10 or something. I don't know. That might just be me. But I remember them being like expensive and I was like, I swear I've seen some at thrift stores that I could buy for like a dollar. <laughs> so yeah, and I have a couple of like really thin ones. This is like a half inch one. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it. There's an area that my, my mom keeps like all of her, um, stationary stuff. So maybe I'll just put those in there. Um, there were just things that I just didn't know what to do with when I was organizing my paperwork. And that took a long time. Like I didn't even know. I mean, I had like bills from internet and gas from like five, 10 years ago. <laughs> it was just crazy. 
Um, even though I organize my stuff like every now and then. <sighs> yeah. So, cheers. Alright, that is all of my things that I'm going to donate. Um, and so, I just need to repack all this stuff and go to the thrift store, which is weird because I was at the thrift store and some of these items were already in my car, but I was like, I need to make a video. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, let's just chit chat for a little bit longer and kind of catch up on um, what's been going on and things like that. You know, I like to have a little downtime at the end to kind of talk about random things. By the way, my room is a mess. Even before I brought all of these things, I'm finally back in my room. I'm like organizing all of my stuff. My closet is so organized. Like I, I bought a bunch of huge Tupperwares from Home Depot. They're like the 64 gallon ones. And I bought like 10 of them. I'm like sweating because it's really hot. It's like 80 degrees today and um, my room gets like the hottest, but I have the curtains like closed, so hopefully heat doesn't come through. But yeah, I'm just organizing all of my things and my room is just crazy. My desk is just messy, so I feel, you know, I don't feel calm as when my room is clean because I, I need a clean space for to, um, to feel calm. But yeah, I'm, um, this weekend I need to find a place, a car, a truck. <laughs> I can't find words right now. Like my mind is just going crazy. I need to find um, a truck to ship my car. Um, and I also need to buy a flight to Illinois so that I can just fly directly from Illinois to DC for work because they said I cannot go from LAX to DC and DC to Illinois, which was what I was originally going to do. I also need to um, get all of my things that I'm going to donate, not donate, um, take with me and put it downstairs in the living room. Like poor parents, like I feel really bad for them for having to deal with messy old me. <laughs> um, so yeah, all of my things are going to occupy the living room because I need to um, test out like what things I can or cannot bring in my car. And I know that when I ship my car, um, I can only put things in the trunk. Like I don't think I can put, like I can't pack things in the back or the seats. Um, just for, I think for safety reasons. So yeah, I just need to make sure all of my things fit in the trunk. Um, but some main things I need to bring are like my Vitamix, my printer, um, my the Crusade pots, and I don't have too much kitchen stuff. I'll do a video of like things I am bringing. Um, so I think that'll be fun too. So yeah, I just don't know what I can bring, but I know what I want to bring. Um, and it's okay if I don't bring everything right now. Um, I can bring things later on or I can just keep things here. But for sure I need to bring my Vitamix because the plum, jasmine, basil, the, um, the popsicle that I want to make, I can only make it if I have like a blender. And right now we don't have a blender. So that's our, that's our hold up. And blenders come in so handy because I make pasta like at least once a week and I love making a good red sauce, just a simple red sauce with like red onion, salt, olive oil, pepper, red, crushed red peppers, and um, I like to use like whole peeled tomatoes. And so I just like to put that in a blender and it's so easy to clean too. All right, enough talking about food. <laughs> I'm making myself hungry, which isn't um, helping me. <laughs> All right, last sips. And this, this video I'll probably post by Monday, um, just because 
It takes a long time for me to post videos. And um, I think it's nice to just have something to start the week. Like I remember um, like Bachelor, you know, that's always on Mondays or it's on Tuesdays now. Like I always have something to look forward to on Mondays and that was, because Mondays like suck. <laughs> like no matter how early you sleep on Sundays, like I always have a hard time sleeping on Sunday nights because of all the anxiety from work. And even if work isn't even that stressful, like for me, it's just like, I don't know, just like all the, all that preparation, emotional preparation I need to do for work that keeps me up at night. By the way, I've been eating so much El Pollo Loco burritos. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Um, I just get their like classic chicken burrito and I wish they had like El Pollo Loco everywhere. Like, I don't know why there isn't. Like, I feel like it's a healthier fast food, like way healthier than Del Taco or other Taco, Taco Bell, you know? So, um, yeah, that's unfortunate. Although I haven't had like Taco Bell or Del Taco like in forever. Like, I don't even know the last time I ever had that. Last sips, I'm, I'm getting sad. <laughs> Mm. All right, cheers. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed coffee time. I'm sorry that I felt a little rushed today. Um, I need to remember to talk slower. <laughs> but, but yeah, I will see you next time.